1994, the wilderness story going to South Africa began in uh, February. And the reason for was I want to fly to America in the golf tournament. And so I decided to go instead to go to South Africa. And I've never been to South Africa. Checked out uh, the country. Actually, but didn't have a mind to, to open a distillery or any business. Just holiday for three weeks. The wine from what, where I was staying at, they offered me to give me some place uh, to open a distillery and to start distilling grappa as the first grappa maker in South Africa. I went back to get as much information as I could, took seminars in Austria, in Germany, at the university, get my master in distilling and bought a distillery and when we moved 1994 in November, the distillery arrived already. And I still, in the same year, I started producing a cup. So it was quite a surprise when my dad opened up to me his plans to move to South Africa as a 14-year-old. But I was always there from day one, helping my dad uh, in the cellar. I was there with him when the first drop came out. Uh, my dad always wanted to include me in um, I guess he already had the vision that I'd be involved one day, hopefully. And um, many days after school, weekends, holidays, I was uh, helping helmet crafters find spirits. When I finished school, I went overseas to do the, I did an internship there. But at the time, the distillery and helmet's business was becoming more and more successful. So I made the decision to join him and help build the family business. We did that for three years, after which we nearly had each other by the throat. So I uh, made a decision to, to venture out and gain some extra and other experience. I worked uh, in the hotel and catering industry for four years and then made the conscious decision to come back to come back to dad and come back to build a distillery and to join the family business again where my first project was to turn the existing restaurant into something a bit more serious so we rebranded it to Papa Grappa in honor of my dad. We were quite successful with our grappa and then Christian insisted to produce gin as well because the vibe of the gin worldwide is immense. Bought books, went to seminars, and looked what other people do and yeah, got an idea. But still it took me about one and a half years to put the final product onto the market. It's always interesting how Golf played a major role in, in us being South Africa's leading craft distillery. If it wasn't for that golf tournament, and if it wasn't for the history before, my dad went into retirement and picked up golf as a hobby and won that golf competition, then um, we probably wouldn't be here today. <laughs>